Yo, Jay, welcome back to the channel, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all a little quick how to remove the dashboard of uh, Buick LaCrosse. I'm pretty sure it's the same for the other Buick. Uh, it's the same model type. So it's a Buick LaCrosse 2010 to so 20, like 16. So it's all the same. So I'm gonna show you how to remove the dashboard because I've never seen a video over here. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So this is fairly simple, y'all. So first of all, you pull this out. Um, you can use a flathead, it's just very dirty. Uh, use a flathead to pry it up, and then you got the little clips under there. Uh, this car has a whole bunch of uh, clips, and then after you do that, you literally just pull this apart. This is a quick little how to remove uh, this dashboard on this car. So, and whatever else, <laughs> whatever else you need to remove, you know. So, oh, also, this piece right here, really, you just go ahead and do the same thing, and you pry it from the, from the back. Don't know if you see that, but pretty much, you do the same thing. So, let me go ahead and take this out. Y'all see how I remove these? Um, also, we're going to remove this plastic piece right now. I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, that way, you have an idea know how to do it so I, I won't be skipping no steps that way everybody knows how to do it because obviously i don't see no videos on youtube about this so, so to take out the uh cluster all you got is one bolt right here one right there another one right here another one on the other side lately you pull and then you got this clearly just this one connector right now we're going to move on to taking out this all these bolts so there's a bolt that is holding that cd player thingy and obviously the screen the radio screen you know what i'm saying so let me take that out and then uh we gonna move on and start taking out the necessary part to take out the dash so we probably gonna have to get rid of take out the steering wheel but in the meantime let me go ahead and take this out and we go from there so all right so these little clips right here are really a pain in the ass uh so it wouldn't be like me and break one um literally go to the bottom of it and push it in it will lift this thing up to where uh you literally can just push this in like that this one's a fairly easy so ideally all you want to do is just push the little back end right here and then it will literally snap so that's how it should go obviously this is pretty simple as well this is most of the cars have it like that um, but other than that, it's fairly simple, y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the screen now and we'll keep going. The one on top is fairly easy. You got this two, literally just two down right there and those right there. They'll snap off like literally with no hustle. Like you literally could just pull it off like this. So I gotta take two of these bolts, one on each side. Um, it's our like them little story keys one. So if you get one of these, that's probably pretty sure that's gonna come handy. Cause there's gonna be a few of these. So that was pretty easy. So in the center uh the center console right here, you're gonna have like two bolts. This one right here and one on the other side. And then they cover up by this little plastic piece. Other than that, this will snap off if you need to take it off or whatnot, but once you remove this, there's a few more in the front that we're gonna take out now. That way we can get the whole center console out. So in front of these uh, center console, you got two bolts on each side. You got one right here, and you got one going in like this towards the dashboard itself. After you take those bolts, you literally just have one connector, which is this guy right here I'm gonna show y'all. And this. Let me go to show you where it's connected to. That connector literally connects right here on the passenger side. And then you have this little USB uh, connector plug thing, your adapter that goes all the way through to the back. Once you take that out, and the four bolts that I just showed, the two to upper one goes right here. So once you take that out, nearly that's completely loose. Then you got um, this connector right here. It connects right here, it just sits there. Literally just sits in the middle. That's pretty much, you got one tin in there and obviously another one on top. So let's continue to take this out and I'm gonna keep showing you what's going on. 
So you have uh, three, uh, three, three screws on top of the glove compartment. And then literally as soon as you uh, look under there, you have one right here and you have another one right there. You got the bottom plastic piece, which is literally sitting under there. The only thing holding is this two bolts on top, like right here under the glove compartment. And then literally after that, you just have like two, three little plastic pieces that are in there. Um, after that, you got one bolt, uh, two, one on that side. And if you can see it, one right there. And uh, it's another one on this side, which is a 10. And you got this connector. Obviously, I already told y'all, it's pretty smooth, pretty easy to take off. So that's fairly easy. Um, pretty much, I mean, we almost done. Taking out the balls, not, it don't look like it's that many balls. Keep in mind, I never done it. So I'm going through the struggle to figure it all out for y'all. So when y'all do it, y'all know exactly where everything is at. This thing literally snaps off. So it would just snap off and, you know, pretty much. Uh, I took the, uh, the vent out of this one. Clearly, I probably didn't need to, but I did end up doing it because, again, I'm trying to do it now, uh, see how it works. But for the most part, um, all I got is this bottom part right here I'm finna take out. It's about to be the same thing. It's a bolt right under here. It's a bolt right under here. And then it's another bolt right under here as well. So uh, let me take it out and then I'm gonna show y'all, you know, exactly where the bolt's at once I take it out. So under here, you have this one bolt and then you have another one up there and I believe that's pretty much. And then you have a big ass screwdriver screw to go on there. And then that's it. Um, this plastic piece, it was literally holding on with just one screw, but clearly you have one and then you have two right here. So, you know, that's about it. So you don't have to remove any wires. You can leave it just like that. All right, so after that you have a 10 that is holding on this metal piece. Uh, you actually have a few tens. You have one, two. Um, actually, no, just this one right here. And uh, pretty much that's it. Oh, and another one, is another seven right here. So this is a seven milliliter bolt. So. so after we already took out most of the bolt down there, um, there's one all the way down there. After that, the dashboard should be loose so all we're gonna have left is this one bolt the whole the holds the airbag thing piece so hopefully once we take that one out the whole dash comes out so let me um let me go and take this bolt out y'all and then we figure it out right now so after we took out that bolt and everything else that i took from under there uh the what i just showed y'all so the dashboard literally comes out so there's nothing if you can see up there uh it's a few stuff that might need to be uh removed the wires from back there from that little uh screen but in the meantime like uh i wasn't gonna take the steering wheel out but honestly i think it's probably the best bet but once you take the co uh, top cover that we took out earlier which is like you literally snap off all you got to do is literally turn the steering wheel to the side and then you got one bowl right here and then you got another one literally on the other side that's all you have to do and this bottom piece will come off and then from there you start working towards uh getting out the airbag and stuff like that um i'm gonna show you anyway so but pretty much that's what you got to do so for this part it's pretty easy you put the screwdriver behind the steering wheel it had like two holes in there uh you literally got to put it in there and then you just like prime it side to side. You're gonna see the little thing moving. You just prime it side to side and the airbag literally just literally comes off. So that's probably the easiest airbag job I ever done in my entire life. Just taking it out completely easy. So that's all you gotta do. And then you should be good to go. You got, then you gotta snap this wires back here. You already know that. So I'm gonna take that out and then take the steering wheel and take out this thingy. I'm gonna show you if I need, uh, if you need me to show you, just let me know, and I'm gonna show you a full video on this. But let me go and take this out, cause I focus is taking out the dash. So, so once you uh take the steering wheel 
out that plastic piece that holds the the goddamn uh the uh the blinkers uh thingy switches so you just literally just pull that out that's that actually clamps in here so you literally pull that out and literally after you do that uh, all you gotta do is just connect every single uh button around here and that should be it and that should allow you to take out the whole entire dash and you don't have to worry about nothing uh always check under here while you when you're taking it out that way you make sure you see what i'm saying like this connectors right here for the airbags are connected obviously you want to take those out before you pull it out so that is the last thing we got and this will come out so if you enjoyed this video hit the thumbs up hit the like button do all of that you know what i'm saying i know there's not that many videos out here on how to take the dash so um there you have it something for y'all to know the ones that have any Buick, any Buick uh, Lacrosse or the other one, I forgot the name of it. I'm gonna put it right down here. It's the exact same process all the way from 2010 all the way to 2015, it's the exact same thing. So one more thing fellas, so if you under here, um, it still got this on the harness. I still have this uh, three things connected in the middle where the speaker is at, the middle speaker. Uh, the easiest way to do it, so you don't have to be struggling over the top, just take out this one seven ball, seven milliliter ball, and the other one at the end, pull this down. It obviously, have someone holding it up for you on top, which is a lot easier than this piece that goes over. You just twist it out, and this other ball, the other connector, I mean, it goes right here. It's like pretty simple, just slide it out, and that's completely that's all you have to do. So, it's pretty simple. Um, you can do it over the top, but um, if you don't want to be like me and mess with the brackets taking it out, just go do it under or under the thing and ask somebody to hold it. So with that being said, man, this is the end. Oh, this oh. <laughs> uh, with that being said, I mean that's all you have to do to take out this uh, whole dash. So let's take it out.